Welcome back to Deca Decrees List. Have you ever stopped to wonder if there's more to the story of Adam and Eve than meets the eye? What if the tale of humanity's first couple isn't just a religious allegory, but a coded message hiding in plain sight? What if, entwined in this ancient narrative, there's a modern twist involving none other than the Central Intelligence Agency? Intriguing, isn't it? Stay with us as we unravel the 10 things you should know about the CIA's Adam and Eve theory. Strap in, folks, as we delve into the depths of this intriguing theory. First off, let's debunk the idea that Adam and Eve were just biblical figures. The CIA's theory suggests that they were, in fact, the first human agents employed to gather information for an unknown entity. Intriguing, right? Point two, their paradise, the Garden of Eden, was not a garden at all, but rather an advanced research facility. This facility was well beyond its time, raising questions of extraterrestrial involvement. Thirdly, the infamous serpent wasn't a snake, but a metaphor for a rival agency trying to sway our original agents off their path. Moving on to the fourth point, the forbidden fruit was not an apple, but a piece of advanced technology, a device that held secrets to the universe. Fifthly, their expulsion from the garden was actually a mission gone wrong, leading to them being stranded in an unfamiliar world. Sixth, their children, Cain and Abel, were not their biological offspring, but new recruits into their agency. As we reach the seventh point, we find that these events were not just happenstance, but part of a larger premeditated plan. Eighth, the theory suggests that these events were not isolated, but a pattern that has continued undetected for centuries. Ninth, the original sin is not a moral failing, but a security breach that set a dangerous precedent. Lastly, the tenth point, the theory proposes that we are all unknowingly descendants of these original agents. With these ten points in mind, the story of Adam and Eve seems to take on a whole new dimension, doesn't it? Now that we've laid out the facts, it's time to piece together the puzzle. We've uncovered the CIA's alleged involvement in the Adam and Eve narrative, a theory that intertwines ancient scriptures with modern intelligence. We've delved into the possibility of a genetically engineered Eden and the implications of a world birthed by an intelligence agency instead of divine providence. We've examined the evidence pointing to the CIA's potential role in shaping humanity's origins and the enduring questions this raises. Could the Garden of Eden have been a top-secret lab? Could the forbidden fruit have been the product of a clandestine experiment? We've invited you to ponder the implications of a world where the lines between divinity and espionage blur. As we close this chapter, we encourage you to question, to explore, to seek your truth in the shadows where fact and fiction intertwine. While we may never know the full truth, one thing is certain. The story of Adam and Eve will never be the same again.